and welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Today, we're gonna to be going over the Longshot LR3 shooting camera system. So for a while, I've been, I've been needing something and I just couldn't really figure out what. I have a long, I have a spotting scope camera, which is fantastic, but ideally I would need almost somebody downrange to be able to spot my hits. And obviously that's kind of dangerous. So there are companies that make long range uh, cameras. So cameras that you set in front of your target, well, between 15 to 10, I think is it 10 to 15 yards or 10 to 15 feet in front of your target and you have a receiver. So this camera system works out to two miles. That is ridiculously far. Also, I've actually used this to about 1,200 meters. It comes with um, some very short tripods, which in my opinion, for the one closer to your target, you're probably gonna wanna invest in a taller tripod, something about at chest height, just so you can have a better vantage point above your target. So that's probably what I would recommend you do. It does come with two charging cables, one for the receiver and one for the camera. Just put this away and, and obviously a nice carrying case. So, these, this unit together, both like the receiver and the camera together, retail anywhere between $1,000 to $809 US. Canada, also this unit, is about $1,150. So in my opinion, this unit kind of caters towards three different kind of shooters. So you have the long range shooter, somebody like myself, who, you know, I just set up one camera, I have one receiver out towards me, and I can spot my own hits and misses. This unit really is fantastic for being able to spot your own misses. So seeing your hits is usually fairly easy because you see it on steel or you see it in paper. Or actually, if you're shooting paper at 500 meters, you will never be able to see that with your, with your scope. So this will be able to, you'll be able to see that. Also, your misses, if you completely miss the steel target and you didn't see the splash, well, you, that's kind of one shot that's kind of wasted. While with this long shot camera system, you see the splash, you're gonna be able to shoot. And there's actually something that I don't think they intended to have is lag. So there's about like a two to three second lag between the splash and when you're actually gonna see it on your phone. So yes, you're gonna be able to see it on your phone, on your iPad if you have one. You can even, if, you, if, you're, if you're fancy enough, you're gonna be able to project your phone onto a TV. So that's actually what some people have done in the organized competition shooting world is projected on the TV so you can really see everything. So as I was mentioning, there's like a three second lag. So when I take a shot at about 900 yards and I miss and I, I, I didn't see the splash, I quickly take, take a look at my phone and oh, there it is. It's about, you know, at four feet to the right. So that's really, really where I see this product shines. Like if you hit your steel, you know you hit your steel because you be able, you can see the impact on steel. While if you miss, where were you? Were you like three feet to the right, six feet high? It's really a challenge, especially for people like me, uh, if, depending on lighting conditions. So if you have a great spotting scope or even have the best, most expensive um, rifle scope, if it's ridiculously sunny, shooting at a thousand, you're not gonna be able to see your misses. So that's where a shooting camera like this is really the great advantage. Another thing to mention is the camera's recording feature. So let's say you don't assume you're gonna have time to be able to immediately check your phone after you take the shot to see if you make it with that three second lag. You can start a recording before you shoot and then after you've done your shot, you can look at the recording again and even zoom in to the image to see where your miss exactly was. And that is a pretty awesome feature. I just turned on my uh, long shot camera app and wow, that image is sharp. Like better than anything you could ever do with a spotting scope or anything. The image is really, really good. Let's turn on filming. All right, now we're filming. We're gonna aim the exact same point of aim. Did not see that time. Ha! Hit it a little low. <laughs> and aim a little higher. <laughs> now that's what I call long range, guys.
Now, I'm telling you, this is a sweet gun. I don't think I've ever done such a good group at this distance. I guess it's a pretty neat feature. You can film yourself and film with your phone. Uh, let's get a second one on. <laughs> this camera actually, like the, the video quality of it, really, really, really nice. Not disappointed whatsoever. There's three different shooters this is great for. The long range shooter like myself, the PRS shooter, uh, because there's multiple targets, and you can have four cameras for one receiver. So that's a huge plus. You could have four different iPads going, and you could take a shot at one target at 1,000, okay? One target at 500, one target at 1,500, and one target at, a, at two miles. So really, this is, this is really amazing what you can do with this system. So I feel it really has its place in the PRS market. So you can, everyone, the, the spectators aren't just spotting with their, their spotting scopes. They could just look at the TV screen. <laughs> and there's the extreme long range shooter. So obviously, the people who are doing king of one mile, king of two mile, like this is what they should be using out at those distances. Your spotting scopes aren't really gonna cut it that well. Wow, this is, it's like you were there. It's like you're right in front of the target. So other than that, it does have a kind of positional camera so you can kind of rotate it to wherever you need to. So generally what I do is I turn both units on, I leave this one at my shooting bench, I walk, well, I, I drive this one down with my ATV about 10, 10, 15 meters in front of my target. And I look at my phone and I position this kind of camera until I get the perfect kind of field of view of my target. So battery life, we have nine hours of battery life. So that is bloody amazing. That almost makes it so you set it up in the morning and it's, it's good all freaking day. Uh, and yes, it does work well in the winter too. So I was shooting in the, f in the winter, right at the beginning of the winter, it was about minus 15 Celsius. And I just, I did my filming. I kind of just left it out because I didn't really need to go get my stuff. I was doing B-roll and all kinds of things. And I just went down about, about five to six hours later and I still had two lights. So actually I should show you guys that right now. So to turn the units on, you have a little switch on the bottom. And actually I don't, yeah, it's got two lights that are fully on and two that are kind of off, which is actually that time that I use it. I haven't been shooting since then because it is so darn cold here in Canada. So you have a switch like this on the camera and you have a switch identical on the receiver. So this one actually has three. So the battery life in this is fantastic, even in the cold. Uh, no, it is not waterproof, but it is weather resistant. So no, don't go shooting in the pouring rain with this. The LR3 also has a few other pretty awesome things. Like you could scroll in to the, the, to the target. So let's say you, you have it on your target, you really wanna zoom in to be able to see that hole a little bit better. You could just put your finger on the camera and expand it. And it'll really do a great job of expanding the image. So keep in mind, this is Ultra HD. It's not quite 4K, uh, but it still has a really, really good uh, image to it. And as well, it does have a two year warranty. So that's really cool to have. In my, in my opinion, the long shot shooting camera system, the LR3, is a major plus. Whenever I'm shooting at a distance or shooting a new rifle and you know I really need to make each shot count or I'm on a time constraint kind of thing like I have to leave the range by three because I have other stuff to do, I bring this unit because being able to spot my hits makes it so I can correct those hits and be on, on target, on steel within usually the next hit. So I waste one shot, reposition, and I'm hitting steel and then I can start filming. So for me, this is a great plus. And for you, I think it depends on what you're doing. This could be a really, really good advantage. So I think this is a fantastic system. So if you're looking at picking one up, I'm gonna leave some links in the descriptions below for you. So anyway, if you guys enjoy this video, consider hitting like, consider hitting subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review.